Hello everyone, my name is Ashfaq Ahmed and I work in the field of structural biology and bioinformatics. Today's video is all about a nanoprotein weaver. It is nano, smaller and a handy extension of Visual Studio and it is called nanoprotein weaver. By definition, you can call it a visualizer just like Chimol, Chimera or DS Viewer, but in terms of many features and usage, it is easy and powerful. It is using the framework of Molstar and is capable for molecular uh, sequence alignment, for showing or uh, taking care of diffusion animations and also takes accounts of the confidence scores nowadays generated by many programs and servers and codes uh, such as PLTDT. If you use uh, this program in future for your research, so here is the, the citation uh, of this program. And these are the few screenshots I took from your paper. So uh, the molds, the this nano uh, protein weaver is capable of handling a single structure, and also capable of handling structures in a grid format. And the beauty of the grid format is that at a time all of this grid will be uh, you will see the whole grid, but at at a time you can activate a single grid uh, just by a single click and you can work and if you feel bored or if you want to activate another grid just click the other grid and that screen will be active activated and the other grid will be you will see a smaller blurring feature to show you that now you are not using this grid so it's a great um, feature for uh, analyzing uh, multi-conformational or multi-poses of different proteins or even of the same protein if you are dealing with a, uh, a large data set of, from molecular dynamics or some other parts. Okay, these two pictures just show that the capability of this uh, smaller extension will provide. So let's start about, uh, let's discuss about how first we will install this program. As I mentioned, this program is actually the extension of Visual Studio. So first of all, uh, you just log in. From the login, I mean just uh, open the website of uh, the Visual Studio. So it's very easy. Uh, just type Visual Studio code in, the, in your Google browser or any other, whatever you are using and then um, you will see the, the the website and on the website you will see on the top you will see this kind of message so if you are using window just click here download for window if you are using some other platform like linux or some other uh, mac so there are other platforms uh, port for other platforms so you can install it easily from here so the first thing is to download it and then install it in your computer. So it will install not the nano protein browser. It will actually install the Visual Studio code in your computer. Now open the Visual Studio code or the VS code from your desktop. Then once you open it and it is ready because it will ask you your certain um, permission and it will ask you to to set your themes and all those things so it will be easy for you not that difficult so once it is ready now click the extension tab and press these three button at once control shift and x once you click these three button a smaller window on the top will appear just like a, a search window now type nano protein we were there and click enter after some time you will see that uh, a nano protein weaver extension will appear and it will say install 
you can click install and it may take a few minutes or even a second if you are uh, if your internet connection is uh, in a better condition then once it is installed then uh, you need to click you need to type these three button control shift and t at the same time and as you 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 press it you will see another kind of command from panel on the top of the program just write nanoprotein weaver and don't uh, forget to press enter uh, that's that's a bit uh, strange like, uh, like uh, many times personally I, for, or I forget to press enter and waiting and then after some time i realized that oh i need to press it enter so i don't know why but it happens to me so i mention it clearly for you that uh, once once you write nanoprotein weaver and then you need to press enter okay so now um, this step will provide you just kind of uh, how to say um, the installation and all those uh, the opening uh, now i'm going to 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 open my visual studio code and uh, here it is now control shift t here you can see nanoprotein weaver but now i need to press enter now once i press enter i will see this kind of thing by default the theme you will have will be a black one but i change this white one for myself you change as per your uh, um, uh, interest or your 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 favorite colors okay now i'm going to to load and perform some basic operation quickly for you people so here it is um okay not here okay so load a single pdb file and load the whole folder as i told you like it, it supports the grid options and option as well but right now for you to introduce with this tiny smaller and powerful uh, extension i will load a single pdb file and it will be in the i, I will load one just randomly from my uh, download folder i click this one and you can see this uh, figure uh, it's the, um, the picture from for a, from a protein design and um let's see okay i cannot uh, uh, i cannot provide more um, explanation of this picture but uh, is this protein but uh, it's actually uh, um, two chains different chains of protein so from here i quickly you can just uh, change the coloring scheme and now if you want some more illustration just click this one now you can see the the the, the color is more the the picture or the the visual, visualization is more illustrative by turning on the side lines and uh, you can try different color scheme with this and then you can also try it with elements with residue level with chain and with rainbow and also some classical and also you will see a PLDT down but um, um, i'm unable to to scroll it here uh, right now so let's see my my purpose is just to introduce you how good good and quickly this program works for you okay let me work with this uh, resident okay let me work with this chain view and it's in illustrator and the color uh, if you have an alignment so you can turn it on and upload your alignment and play with it and you can scroll down and you will have much more options and for pldt confidence blah 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 but okay so uh, right now I, I'm teaching you some more things. Okay, your structure is loaded. You can minimize this window like this. Now uh, you can minimize this window. Once you minimize this window, you will see 
four options uh, here. One, this is for um, augmented or visual reality. So my my um, computer or I don't have the support. So that's why this is uh, turned off. Now three more options. This one is from the for the taking snapshots. This one is from so, for some setting, and this one is for managing some settings okay so let's try this if you are interested in changing background let's say background i will keep it white this is for occlusion you can, can see shadow turning off this is shadow this is outline remove or so many options i cannot uh, teach you all of them the camera arthroscopic and uh, perspective animate if you want a spin or if you want a rock so whatever it's off now mm, okay um i'm i'm, I'm okay oh. okay now uh, we are going to advance um, there is also some advanced option for illumination you can play with it and you will love it and uh, moving in 3d mouse whatever okay click again and okay uh, these are the illumination and uh, you can play with it okay now let's move to to this uh the the google control setting now if you see um this is a, a this is one of the important uh, uh part you you can see just like default this one is default this one is the cartoon and this one is the space field you can see and this one is the surface okay you can see now uh these are the simple and this again uh this is illustrative this is default and if you are interested in some quick style representation it's here but if you are if you want to to do some more things so click here add and uh perform some selection here these are different options and um, then you can uh, do much more things you can say the hydrogens hide and many many things so finally uh, let me wind up this video quickly the one two and this one is the last option let's say I i'm going to take a picture of it a snapshot just click here and you will have a viewpoint a resolution a png transparent background or not access you want this access to be included you can see here or not included it also tells you what state you you you, you want to to save and now let me teach you a simply how to take a pic, uh, snapshot this is the resolution viewpoint you have to to change customs and each and everything i'm doing i'm going with this one so let's don't put this copy although you can but uh, why not you have a download option now the structure is the the your scene is already prepared and i will name it let's say 444 and it will be stored in the download section um let me open this 444 so here is our uh, figure we just uh, save it there now um, let me tell you the some final remarks and final remarks are that i found this program very powerful very uh, kind of uh, addictive and although i'm a great fan of pymol my viewers will know that i, I love to work with pymol although uh, there are some uh, things which i still uh, i i don't have the the control to it like how to 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 show some specific residue level interaction and how to set some specific 
representations based on custom features because this programs provide me uh, default features like just like all hydrogens all uh, all um, aromatic like this but um, I will be interested to, to learn how these the, the some specific custom p features if I'm interested so uh, wait for my next video I will, I will work on it if if this program support those custom features i'm sure it will be it will be um, or maybe they are here but probably i'm not able to 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 know now so wait for my future videos and if there are some more advancements or if i can provide you some more thing then of course this program is going to be the one of the the leading extension in future and uh in recent times because it provides the the depth cues and uh a very fascinating visualization and i'm thinking the other uh, other programs like the discovery pymol chimera they need to adopt their classical coloring schemes and all those things otherwise new programs just like this extension will come and will supersede them so that this was all for today if you are liking my videos please share thumbs up and ask your introduce my channels with your colleague thank you so much bye bye